okay, electronic semiconductor diode. We have learned that there are two types of extrinsic semiconductor, the P-type semiconductor and the N-type semiconductor. Can you please tell me what's the majority charge carrier in P-type semiconductor? Is the holes? Yes, that's correct. That's correct. It's the holes, huh? Okay. So inside P-type semiconductor, the majority charge carrier is the holes, and the minority charge carrier is the free electrons. Okay. And the N-type semiconductor, the majority charge carrier is the free electrons, and the minority charge carrier is the holes. A manufacturer can produce a single crystal with P-type materials on one side and N-type on the other side, as shown in the figure above. So in industry, okay, a manufacturer it can create uh, this P-type N-type semiconductor just next to each other. Means then they, they, they join this P-type and N-type semiconductors together. The P-type and N-type semiconductor actually uh, is not very useful. Okay, it's, it's not very useful if there are just a pure P-type and pure N-type semiconductor. But if we join them together, then it becomes extremely useful, very, very useful. Okay, it can be used to make a lot of uh, electronic elements. So let's see what, uh, what will happen uh, if we join a P-type semiconductors to an N-type semiconductors. Okay. Okay, now the very first things that you need to know is if we join this P-type and sem N-type semiconductors like at the border, at the border where these two types of semiconductors joins together, it's called a PN junction. It's called a PN junction. So this is this is the PN junctions. This is the PN junctions. Okay, but not yet the depletion layer. Okay, not yet the depletion layer. Uh, just the PN junctions. Huh? Just a PN junction, not yet the depletion layer. I will explain to you what does it mean by depletion layer. So P-type semiconductor join with N-type semiconductor, and at the border where they join together is called a PN junction. Huh? Depletion layer and junction voltage. What does it mean by depletion layer and a junction voltage? So when you join a P-type semiconductor to an N-type semiconductor, and you form a, a, this a PN junctions, and then so something happens. At this uh, PN junctions, then it form a depletion layer. Okay, you form a depletion layer. Let's see. Uh, let's see uh, what's happening in this PN junctions. Okay, now in P type semiconductor, there's a lot of hole. There's a lot of hole, and in N type semiconductor, there's a lot of free electrons. Huh? Even though there's a lot of hole, you need to know that in this uh, P type semiconductor, it's neutral. It is neutral. Huh? Okay, don't think that because it has a lot of hole, then it carry positive charge. The hole carry positive charge, yes, but overall is neutral. Okay, overall is neutral. Right? The number of proton equal to the number of electrons. So overall is neutral. And for the n-type semiconductor, it's also the same. Okay, even though there's a lot of free electron, but it's neutral right? because the number of proton equal to the number of electrons. Now, when you join a p-type semiconductor to an n-type semiconductor. And last week we learned that the p-type semiconductor has a tendency to pull electrons. It can pull electrons eh, to fill in the hole, right? Okay. So the hole in the p-type semiconductor it will pull the electrons from the n-type semiconductor, and these electrons will fall into the hole. Okay. And uh, there's a name for this. There's a name for this. And we call this recombinations, eh? recombinations. So at the p-n junction, the electrons from the n-type semiconductor will be attracted to the holes in the p-type semiconductor. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you see, the electrons go into the hole. Okay, now when the electrons go into the hole, the hole will disappear because a hole is just a place that can be filled with electrons, but there's no electrons there. Okay, suppose uh, that, that there's uh, electrons there, it can be filled with electrons, but there's no electrons there, okay? But if there's electrons go into the hole, then the hole will disappear. The hole attracts the electrons from the n-type semiconductor to go into the hole, and uh, recombinations occurs, and the hole disappear, and the electron disappear. How about the charge? What will happen to the charge? Okay, initially, initially it's neutral, eh? but 
if these electrons leave this place, okay, the electrons move away. Suppose this electron, if the electrons move away, then this place will become positively charged, right? Initially, it's neutral, okay? And if the electrons move away, it loses the electron, then it becomes positively charged. This place initially is neutral. Initially, it's neutral. Now, it receives electrons. It receives one electron, and therefore, the charge will become negative, okay? It will become negative. That's what happens. Eh? The electrons from the n-type semiconductor go into the hole. And the electrons disappear, the hole disappears. The place where we lose electrons, it will become positively charged, and the place where we receive electrons, then it becomes negatively charged, okay? And this happens to uh, all the electrons around the PN junctions. Here, I only show one layer, okay? But actually, it, it involves uh, thousands of layers. All the electrons around these PN junctions so will go into the hole that's around the PN junctions. Okay, let me show you, okay? So I think you can see that, right? All the electrons go into the hole, and then the recombination occurs, and the electron disappear, and the hole disappear. Okay, and uh, when the electrons move away, then this place will be uh, positively charged, and this place will be negatively charged. The place where there's no electrons, no free electrons, and no hole. Eh? Okay, this place, no electrons, no hole. Okay. This place is called the depletion layer, okay? This border is the PN junctions. Eh? This border is the PN junctions. But uh, around the PN junctions, the electrons move to the hole, okay? And then the electron and both the electron and hole disappear. And then there's no more electrons here and no more hole here. And this, okay, this part eh, of the semiconductor is called the depletion layer. So the hole and the electrons at the PN junction disappear, forming a layer called depletion layer. So this is a depletion layer. Okay. Now, just now, I, I think I told you, right? So when the electrons go here, here will become negatively charged. And here it loses electron, here will become positively charged. Eh? So and then you form a depletion layer. And at the same time, the P-type semiconductor becomes more negative. Eh? Okay. Here it become more negative, whereas the N-type semiconductor become more positive. Okay, so there's a negative charge accumulate here and a positive charge accumulate here, okay? And uh, when the charge accumulates around these PN junctions, this will produce a potential difference across the PN junctions, okay? More and more charge accumulates, negative charge accumulate here, and more and more positive charge accumulate here, and this will produce poten potential difference, okay? Potential difference against, against it. Maybe it's just a 0 0.3 volt, for silicon, it's usually 0 0.3 volt, and for germanium, it's uh, 0 0.7 volt, okay, something like that. Okay, Let's say this is 0 0.3 volt. 0 0.3 volt. Eh? And the voltage can be different, may, may be different. Uh, depends on uh, how how many holes and how many electrons here, okay? Whether it's uh, lightly doped or heavily doped. Okay. So the potential difference that generate here is called the junction voltage. This 0 0.3 volt is called a junction because it occurs at the PN junctions, okay? So it's called a junction voltage or sometimes it's called a barrier voltage. So it's called a junction voltage and barrier voltage. Eh? So uh, that is depletion layer and junction voltage. You don't need to connect this to a battery or cell or whatever, okay? You just combine them together, join them together and automatically it will happen. So you don't need an energy to force it to happen. Eh? You don't need to flow electricity, no. Just combine them automatically. This happens. If former, so the place where they combine is called the uh, PN junctions and automatically it will form a depletion layer and at the same time it will form a junction voltage or barrier voltage. Can it return to the original conditions? No. So it will, this, this uh, depletion layer will be always there. You cannot remove it. When this junction voltage is generated, okay, here because there's a lot of negative charge and there's a lot of positive charge here, okay, junction voltage is produced. Then, you see this is negative here and this is positive here. 
and this negatively charged area or the junction voltage will prevent the electrons from here to go to the hole here uh, the hole here of course the hole will tends to pull the electrons eh? the hole is tends to pull the electrons the hole tends to pull the electrons okay because the hole carry positive charge it will tends to pull the electrons eh? but the barrier voltage here will try to push the electrons away so the negative charge or the barrier voltage here will try to push the electrons away but the the hole here will try to pull the electrons again okay? so means up to certain voltage eh? like uh, for example 0 0.3 volt then the electrons here will stop moving to the hole okay now here i just draw one layer actually it can happen to hundreds layers or thousand layers eh? uh, means this recombination will stop at certain stage okay at certain times because uh, the the voltage is big enough already then the electrons here will stop going to the uh, uh, move to the hole and uh, recombine with the hole okay so the junction voltage will prevent the charge carrier from flowing across the depletion layer so the the electrons here cannot pass through the depletion layer so then uh, this recombination will stop so this de depletion layer has certain uh, uh, thickness only yeah okay just around the pn junctions only okay you cannot say the electrons keep on going 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 until all the hole is filled with electron and all the electrons uh, free electron disappear no this will only happens to the electrons around the junction voltage okay because sorry the, the pn junction because the, the barrier voltage will prevent the electrons to go into the hole here